drums because it was the coronation yesterday for some king and um, I've heard whispers there might be Morris dancers at the pub so I don't really want to join in but I might just walk past that way and see what's going on okay bye hmm well the field gateway's tarted up isn't it if you haven't figured it out yet we're in England. <laughs> Welcome to Devon. Oh, Molly, Badger's girlfriend. It's your girlfriend. Oh, good girl, Molly. Devon missed. Yummy. <laughs> Please sponsor me, Devon Miss. I'm ready. To, I'm ready to be sponsored. Send me an email. Chickens and goats at this pub, awesome, and a greenhouse and teepees. It's amazing. It's secret loo. Uh, I believe this is Willow. Correct me if I'm wrong, but yeah, they constructed this last year. Wow. It's nice. Oh. I love Devon. It's brilliant, isn't it? In fact, there's loads of lovely places like this that I don't know. But maybe I will go to some nice country pubs and brilliant beer gardens over the next few months with some friends. Uh, so if you've got any suggestions, uh, let me know. He's just doing his thing. Patrolling the area. Now who would live in a house like this? Look, we have another goat. That's my goat noise. Meh. Sorry. No, I think they've got a really good setup here, apart from all the noisy people in the beer garden, but I guess this is just home to them. So yeah, welcome to Goatland and Chicken land is over there, but it's all fenced off really well, so dogs can come here and not get to the animals. In about an hour, there's going to be a sports day, and then later tonight, there's fireworks. 
I wasn't going to join in because it's not really my thing, the whole royal thing. No offence to other people, but it just doesn't usually float my boat. But maybe, maybe we might come back later and watch the tug of war. Aha, uh -huh, to be continued. Yeah, there's so much traffic in the village today. Literally car to car, bumper to bumper. It's usually a really quiet village. But today everyone's gone king mad. So, yeah, whatever. Now this is a typical Devon Green Lane. Very overgrown at the moment. All the cows are here. The cows are out to pasture. I usually walk in this field, but it's not a good idea right now. Hey cows, Badge, see there. Good boy. Good boy, Badge. Hey little cows. Just come and say hello. This is your field, isn't it? do you do? Anyway, I'll see you another day, little cows. Bye. Now, I always think this is cow parsley, but I know there are a few plants that look just like this, one of them being hogsweed, which is, you know, you shouldn't touch it. I'm just going to take you on a little walk. So if you're not from Devon, or, well, UK, there's green lanes all over the country but they are also known at one point as hollow ways and something else but they are full of life flora fauna obviously bugs yeah I love walking down green lanes there's actually quite a, a network all over Devon as I'm sure there are other parts of the country as well especially in rural areas so basically you know they could have been used as bridleways just footpaths or even just getting cattle from one field to another um, but yeah it's a vital part of the countryside the hedgeways Devon hedges along the roads are teeming with wildlife as well but um, at least here you're not actually on a road so it's a little bit safer and I love it so yeah it's just a very very quick walk Dandelion, all sorts of stuff I don't know. But yeah, it does get mown, so that's why I wanted to film it now while it's all overgrown. It's gorgeous. Loads of birds, like I said, hedgehogs. I think badgers probably use it as well. Oh, there's some birds there. Yeah, I was just out filming anyway and I just wanted to show you uh, Devon Green Lane so if you're not from the country this is really typical they're all over the place and if there's not one near you then that's a real shame because they used to be everywhere uh, but I think they might be protected now yeah
yeah, there'll definitely be more trips to Devon Green Lanes and Bridleways on my adventures exploring Devon. Oh. Hi, yeah. So yeah, why don't you explore your Devon Green Lanes? There's a network all over the way, just like there is a patchwork of fields. So yeah, check out your local Green Lanes now while stocks last. Okay then, let's see what all these people are doing to celebrate the king. Let's go check it out, shall we? What's the harm? Hello Dom. Hi, how are you? Where are the bikes? I'm not quite sure what is going on. <laughs> Apparently it's a very slow bike race. Don't really know the rules, but... And here is some wellies. The welly throwing. Oh yeah, welly throwing, or some of that. Uh, look at the location. This is gorgeous. Oh yeah. Welly wanging is imminent. Any minute now. Wellies everywhere, oh my word. Got some talent here today. Get the wellies! Get them! So yeah, King's Coronation isn't really my bag, but went to the pub earlier, missed the Morris dancing, because some of them are actually really good, <laughs> which is a strange tradition, isn't it, Morris dancing? I don't know all the history behind it, but yeah, see, all of these country traditions, some of them are inexplicable. As in, I don't know why, but it is just part of country life. So, yeah, it was worth coming out. There's not much going on here. It's pretty quiet in a bit of a valley with a river running through it. Wow. Yeah, so thanks for joining me on another little adventure. I uh, didn't go too far for this one. But yeah, I'm not going to mention uh, where it is just because, uh, you know, some things are best kept to yourself. But there will be plenty more adventures and join me next time. And thanks for watching. And if you like what you see, give me a like and subscribe. And I'll see you again from beautiful Devon. Bye. Splat the rat. Of course, it's been a few years since I played that one. Goodbye, village and have fun.